Hey guys, so I'm just going to provide some discussion questions here from the previous seven chapters of Robin Hood. You don't need to write these down, but I want you to think about possible responses and be ready to discuss them. All right, and let's do one quick spell check. All right, uh, from where does the story of Robin Hood come? You're going to find the answer to that in the introduction. And I mean, um, kind of what was the original format of the story? How did people originally hear of Robin Hood? Uh, question number two, this is going to come from chapter one. What does Robin Hood learn about leadership in chapter one? Uh, early in his life, he gets examples of negative leadership, of, of corruption, and by the end of it, he himself becomes a leader, but a different kind of leader, a good leader. Um, what's the difference? What does Robin Hood learn about leadership in chapter one? Number three, this is from chapter two. What is wit? And why is wit important when Robin meets Little John? Uh, think of their exchange on the bridge when they battled with the quarter staffs. Not only did they have a, a war with staffs or a battle with staffs, but they had a little war with words. Um, think about why wit was important in them becoming friends. Uh, number four, how does Robin use the sheriff's vice against him? Um, the sheriff's weakness, right? The sheriff's weakness is, think about, uh, you know, kind of his, um, his sin or his weakness, his vice. What is it and how does Robin Hood use it against him? That's in chapter 3. Chapter 4, what is a flashback? And how is chapter 4 a flashback? Uh, number 6, uh, this would be chapter 5. How do the Merry Outlaws treat the sheriff? They basically have him kidnapped out in Sherwood Forest. They could do anything they want. Um, how do they treat him? What does that tell us about the Merry Outlaws? Uh, number 7 which this has to do with number six, uh, when Robin Hood meets Will Scarlet, that's chapter six. Um, how does the author characterize Will Scarlet? Will Scarlet has some unique character traits. Um, what are some of those? And then number eight, this comes from the last chapter that you read, a very exciting chapter, uh, chapter seven. Uh, why do you think the outlaws recruit Friar Tuck? Uh, they've basically uh, assembled this team of all-stars, uh, the best uh, bowmen, the best fighters, the best swordsmen in all the area, but then they actually go out and actively try to get Friar Tuck to join their group. Why do you think they want Friar Tuck on their team? All right, so these are some discussion questions. These are things I want you to think about, be able to answer, and also a little extra credit here. Can you tell me what's wrong with this sentence? There are many interesting characters in Robin Hood. There are many interesting characters in Robin Hood. Sorry for the smudges. Let me back out just a little bit. There are many interesting characters in Robin Hood. There are actually three things wrong with this. Three things wrong with this. Uh, just keep in mind that Robin Hood's the title of a story. Um, the other two mistakes should come quite easily to you. Um, but see if you can't find the three mistakes in, in, in this extra credit question. Think about these eight questions that I've proposed to you and have a good day.